Happy Wednesday. It is October 4th, 2023 and right now it is 6.35 p.m. New York time. Outside temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 25 Celsius. And I'm here at Bryant Park starting this video. And we have a good news. Basically, in 23 days, Bank of America Winter Village at Bryant Park will be started. And as you can see, all this construction and shops has been set up already right here the foundation for the ice skating ring i'll give you an update from brian park about one of the most amazing winter village in new york city brian park winter village so if you just join then kindly hit that like button and also feel free to let me know how is my video and audio quality before i walk further let's see who is joining hey dan mohammed Hector, 5000 El Camino, Yedanish, Positive Mind, Selma Sel, hey, hey, Simon Rothwell, Alex, Henry, The Classic Rock, Michael, Sandra, Dree, hello, hello, Malker Jada, Muffinsky, good to see you here, Austin City Limits, hey, Austin City Limits, Evelyn, Bruno, Lori Lowe, hey, Lori, Michael, once again, hello. Rui, Monica, Oxy Muzi, hello. Hello, Greg, Telly, Mintry, hey, hey, uh, Dan Moon, good to see you here. Thanks for joining. I'm just waiting for a few more friends to join in, then we'll begin our walk. Hey, Married, hello. Hello, touring different place. Danny, good to see you here. Danny, Carlene. Cobra Com, hello. Francisco, Dina, welcome. I think we can begin our walk. Jessica, Fountain Hunter, such a gorgeous view. And this is uh, Bank of America Tower. Hey, Sunshine After Rain, good to see you here. Sunshine After Rain, how are you doing? Hello, Ila, Miss Loa, hello. Yes, Telly, I am at Bryan Park, just giving you an update about. Uh, the Winter Village, which will be open on October 27, which is 23 days from now, as you can see, all this construction right here. Right here, this is the foundation for the ice skating ring. This ice skating ring here is free if you had your own skate, but you might have to rent skate if you don't have one, and you had to like uh, schedule your time in advance. Hey, Dawn, hello, hello, Susan. Good to see you here. Hi to your son, Emilio, as well, Suzanne, Susanna. Hi to your son, Emilio. Welcome. Welcome, Emilio. Eva, hello. Yeah, Muffin Skill, enjoy it. Hey, Jackie. Good to see you here, Jackie Freeman. So I guess uh, in a week, you may already seen the whole ice skating ring. Uh, we haven't even uh, had our Halloween parade but we already start for 
holiday season, Christmas. Hey, Skinner. Hello. Hello, Mark Holden. As you all know, on my um, every year, I give you guys update about this particular winter village because I'm always excited and I love this winter village and winter market here. Stachy, hello Stachy, welcome KN. Bryant Park is so lively. This is Bryant Park Cafe. It's packed. In a matter of few days, everything changed. I think when I was here last time, I thought they were removing the sod, but in a matter of few days, they removed everything and they already had this store set up. As you can see, hey Rui, hello, hello George Rucker. Hey Don F with $5, thank you so much Don, I appreciate that. Hey Don, thank you so much, have a great evening. I appreciate it Don, thank you. Sal saying house on his block have a Halloween decoration. Look, all these shops are set up. Every side. The park is ready for the holiday season. DR Grog, RJU John. So these shops will be like different types of shops. Food, drink, crafts, uh, gift shops, and so on. As you can see, this is the update. It is October 4th. And this is the situation here at Bryant Park. But as I said, the Bank of America Winter Village will be started around like October 27. Patrick Peeney, hello Patrick. Dave in Bangor, Maine, hello Dave. I can visualize from the previous years that what gonna be in these particular shops. Mostly, maybe we will see some uh, craft shops here here maybe gift shops as you can see so different different shops maybe they will change the orientation or add some new shops i don't know but it seems like holiday is knocking at our door right now hey rosita hello hello Dennis deborah saying i can't believe it's holiday again what's happened to the summer i know right it's so quick mehdi from france Good to see you here and look at it our lovely empire state building is blue tonight hey rat shang good evening thank you so much rat shang thanks for joining thank you so much rat shang have a good evening thank you rat thanks for the support uh sophie hello sophie see all these things are for the ice skating ring wow i can't believe my eyes so excited whitney fencing heights for the entire year went by quick oh yes very quick it was like a blink of eyes but it's fun right hey Oli pine tree hello hello adrian yarina hello hey how are you doing man this is one of the most amazing winter village and the most amazing park. Nathan Colin, hello. James, yes, I am live right now. That's what you are seeing right now. No more green lawn until next year. See, right here, this white mark you've seen right here, the whole thing gonna be ice skating ring. And from here, there will be a prime uh, lounge and then different shops will be here as well. It would be so fun. And this is the update. I'll keep you guys updated at least once a week what's happening at Bryant Park live. And I hope you will enjoy it. Hey, Gary Carpenter, hello. Hello, JC. Hey, Sydney, hello. Good to see you here. All these lips will be gone soon.
people had no choice to sit here. A Benchland Travel, hello, good to see you here. The iconic fountain. This is one of the most amazing fountain, which basically never turn off, not even winter. Most of the fountains here in New York City got turned off during the winter season, but not this one. Soon we'll have some fro frozen fountain. Hey, Na Nancy Jennings, good to see you here. Nancy Jennings and hello, Uni J. You can watch my previous year's video of this frozen uh, fountain. You're gonna love it. I believe I had a video also, Central Park uh, pond was frozen as well. So it's a fun video, you should watch it. Awesome, JC. Hey, ABD Samad. Hello, hello, Nadji Nancy. For some reason, I guess it's a weather. The weather is phenomenal. I think two more days we'll have this phenomenal weather. After that, the temperature will be drop again and we'll have more chilly nights. You see, look at it. Uh, look at this place right here. It's packed. Everyone is kind of enjoying the last good weather from New York City until next year. At some point, it was 81 degree Fahrenheit. 81. Can you believe in October we are having 81 degree Fahrenheit? Unbelievable. It's definitely giving us a sign that it's global warming. It's real. This side, they haven't had any stores yet, but soon they will set up stores you've seen on the other side. They will have this side as well because we still had 23 days, so things gonna be changed in 23 days. Look at this mom's plant right here. Wow, a lot of them actually looking gorgeous. Oh, nice. They got a mini Halloween theme right here. Right here, look at this spot. Some fall decoration, I would say, perhaps. It's cute. Very cute. I think I had to check out from the other side. Do not forget to hit that like button. Uh, I heard baby saying, where do you rent the skate and how much they approximately skate to Bryant Park? It's very, so they will have something like right here. It's not up yet, right here. They will have a place where you can rent or you can go to bryantpark.org for more info. Previous years, I think it was $20 or something. I cannot recall exactly, but this year it might be changed. They will have a spot right here. But remember, if you bring your own skate, it's free. It's totally free if you had your own skate. So it's a good idea to have a skate, like skate, skate shoes, like buy a skate shoes from Amazon, Amazon or something. And you can skate year round here for free. It's always a good idea. Hey, Annie, hello. Or maybe you can check out on eBay or Amazon for maybe buy some used uh, skating shoes or something. This is how you can save a lot of money, but you can come to Bryant Park and have that fun year round. So you can check out bryantpark.org for more info. I don't think so they will have any info yet, but soon they will have all those info. <laughs> Kelly saying, do I run to New York City Marathon? Not yet. I might have to need some preparation right before I want to decide to run for marathon, but it's fun. But look at this, a cute guy here. Oh gosh. His gator seems dead as well. This is a lovely fall vibes here at Bryant Park, like a Halloween theme. What is it? Is it? 
another ghost oh yeah it is a ghost and look at this <laughs> he's laughing at us yes um, JC it's right over there it's not a hidden library uh, they had a basically uh, uh, exit from the library it's right over there I cannot show you right now right there they had uh, like small door that you can open and you can exit from the library because the library is there and right under the Bryan Park the library is extended because they need to store the books so it's right over there yeah Austin City Limits this is kind of new this year I haven't seen it previous years it seems like a new edition for this uh, Halloween or perhaps fall season I don't think so they're gonna stay here for a longer time maybe until October or something the carousel here best part of Bryan Park hey Elma hello good to see you here Elma yeah New York Public Library right here is one of the most amazing and fun place you could check out I would say knowledgeable place see this white mark right here it's basically the place for the skate I mean the ice skating ring hey Billy B Davy in Kansas Coney E good to see you here and um, they will set up a tree right there Last year, I was here during their uh, tree leading ceremony and it was amazing. Things are looks a bit messy right now because of all those uh, construction stuff. But once everything is done, this place will become a winter, winter wonderland. A lot of supremis, welcome. Uh, Joel must say, uh, do they charge if you are not from New York? No, it's the same price. It's the same price for everyone. If you had a skate, it's for free for everyone. But if you don't have a skate, you had to rent it. It's the same price for every single person. Hey, Keith, doing good. How are you doing, Keith? Oh, wow, married. That's a good info. Thanks. Thanks for sharing it. Yeah, Neha, me, me too. Not wait for the holiday season. It's the best. Maybe uh, Bryant Park Cafe having some sort of private event, especially this part. Chadil Sun, welcome. As you can see, I can see people are wearing formal. This is definitely a private event. Um, Eric saying hi Sifat, we are from Buffalo, but we are in New York City this week. Do you know any restroom near the flat iron? Yes, go to Italy. Or it's they they had a uh, go to Italy. You see there is a restaurant called Italy. Go inside, you will find a pretty nice restroom. Or if you had a 25 cents right opposite side of the Shake Shack you had a restroom you had to pay 25 cents for that but just go inside Italy it's right near the clock you will see there is a clock near the flat iron building and on the same side they had a re um, restaurant called Italy go inside and ask for a restroom they had a pretty nice clean restroom but there is another option I just said just near the Shake Shack uh, there is a restroom you had to pay 25 cents if you didn't find that just ask anyone maybe it would be good if you can ask the Shake Shack employee that where is that uh, restroom and they will show you but as I said go to Italy and use it for free it's a nice place thanks Selma hey Edgar Charlene Rama hello hello Eli Vando no problem, Alex. I hope it helped. Look, look, New York. Good to see you here. Literally, I think some sometimes last week I showed that uh, restroom near uh, the Flat Iron Building, near 
the Madison Square Park, outside of actually the Madison Square Park. But always a good idea go inside Italy and use their restroom. Because maybe you are not carrying any change with you. No update yet for the FIFA, the Soccer World Cup, uh, because it's on 2026, so we still have some time. Uh, so yeah, Kasaba, hello. And here I'm at Bryant Park, and this is the restroom at Bryant Park, the only restroom here. You can see the line for the Bryant Park restroom, but I would say do not wait here. Just walk five minutes, less than five minutes over there, Grand Central Terminal and you can have their fresh restroom. By the time you will wait here, you will be at Grand, uh, Grand Central and go Grand Central Medicine and use their restroom for free. And it's more clean than Bryant Park. Hey, Angela Q, good to see you here, Angela Q. Jalen, hi, welcome. Julma's daughter, Jalen, welcome. Thanks for watching. Alex is saying uh, his wife want to thank me because they were in Bryant Park in the afternoon. After that, they went to Rise New York. Oh, wow. I hope you enjoy Rise New York, especially the ride at the end, which is pretty fun. It, it will give you a vibe that you are flying over Manhattan or perhaps New York City. Norris, hello. I like Rise New York ride. It's always fun. Uh, B. Jen saying, good evening, Sifad. You are so kind and helpful to answer questions. Uh, our elderly group enjoy your videos since we don't travel anymore. Oh, that's kind of you. I really appreciate that. And I'm be, f be aware of that because YouTube giving me an option to see which age range people are watching me and there are people from every age watch my videos and there are a large number of elderly people also watch my videos so I always try my best to be kind respectful and keep my chat and video as family friendly as possible so thank you it means a lot I appreciate your compliment Hey, Louise, hello. Uh, Mary Taylor saying, doesn't the restaurant require you to catch you and to use the bathroom? No, not always. Sometimes restaurant like uh, McDonald's and other place might ask you to buy something. Other than that, you do not have to be a Patreon or anything. If you buy anything from McDonald's, not all the time, some store has these rules it's made by the employee. McDonald's should be free for all and which most of the case, McDonald's is free for all to use their restroom. But sometimes some, some manager wants people to pay or buy before they use the restroom. So yeah, but you do not have to be a Patreon. Hey, Richard Cullen, hello. Hello, Aura. Good to see you here. Good to see you here. Uh, who else? Oh, I think I already saying Vera. Hello. And one thing I want to point out, like, you can also go inside any hotel. Like, even if you're not staying any hotel, you can go inside any hotel and be confident. Just be confident. Have some confidence on your face and ask anyone that, where is the restroom? Don't ask that, can you eat? Can I use the restroom or may I use the restroom? Do not use this line. Just ask, where is the restroom? <laughs> Be confident and just ask, where is the restroom, sir? In a respect manner. I'm not saying you should, you to be rude, but just do not like ask, like may I or can I or shall I, something like that. Just ask, where is the restroom? <laughs> then they will definitely tell you. They will thought that you are a guest and they will let you use their restroom. So it's a pro tips 
Always keep that in mind. You can go inside any hotel lobby and ask anyone where is the restroom and pretend, pretend to be a guest of that particular hotel, you know? Pretend to be a guest. It's always uh, helpful because not all the time you will find public restrooms. So you have to rely on this kind of stuff in New York City because it's a huge problem, especially for us New Yorker, and that's what we did. And I'm sharing you all those secrets. Charlie saying, so far the Christmas lights are up the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, in most cases you are correct uh, because uh, Rockefeller Center Christmas tree lit up after Thanksgiving. Hey, Tony, hello. Hello, Masumi, Belisi, hello. Thanks for joining us, Belisi from Australia. SF Cynthia, welcome. Pat from Chicago, hi. Does it make sense what I, what I just said about the hotel? Just be confident, guys. No one gonna kill you and no one gonna be rude at you here. Sometimes your confidence will scare others, so be confident. Have some faith on your face. Hey, Latona Jackson, hello. Um, yeah, Synth Sonic. It's kind of shocking that one of the uh, one of the biggest hit ever in Broadway was Phantom of the Opera, but unfortunately they closed. But there are so many other great shows. Musical Broadway shows. Uh, Sophie saying, yeah, you can do that most of the place in the world. They usually don't know if you're a guest or a friend of a guest. Exactly, Sophie, that's my point. You get it. You get it. Larissa from Brazil, hello. Uh, yeah, feel free to ask me any questions if you had. I would happy to answer you because I'm here to answer your questions. This is a great opportunity to clear if you had any confusion or if you want to know anything. Thanks, look. Oh wow, nice jazz from a saxophone. And here is one Times Square and New Year Eve ball. Uh, Nathan, people are already starting to decor their ha house for Halloween and perhaps fall. Last night I showed you one of the random house I just seen in uh, mid packing district perhaps Chelsea area so I will show you more in the future when I will do a uptown or Upper East Side video Upper East Side you will see few houses in Manhattan and then I will try to cover a different bra hey Anne Ramsey thank you Sophie awesome Nadji Nancy uh, Hey, Anna, my friend, good to see you here, good to see you here. G-O, how are you doing? G-O, am I pronouncing correctly? G-O. See, it's just a Wednesday night, but Times Square is busy as usual. Al Rutles, hi. Had to be careful. This morning I just posted a video from downtown Manhattan during sunset. If you if you enjoy a non-narrated video and wanna just enjoy the city sound. I do have that option on my channel. I post video pretty much every day or every other day. 
without any narration so that you can enjoy the city sound and the beauty. But usually my live streams are interactive. I communicate with my audience, I greet them, I answer their questions. So if you don't like that, this is not the place you should be. You should better check out my pre-recorded video where I don't talk, just walk. Hey Sandy, hello, hello Mira. Welcome Charbot and hello Dangel. Good to see you here. Thanks, Astro Lee. Awesome, Mira. Hey, Jessica, good to see you here. I appreciate that. Hey, Juan. Juan Bridgeman. Hey, Neha, Neha uh, Vekil. Nobody set your tickets today, get your tickets. Oh wow, the living statue getting ready. He do have a photo inside Madison Square Garden. I mean, sorry, my bad. Grand Central Medicine, why am I saying Gra <laughs> Madison Square Garden? No, it's Grand Central Medicine. <laughs> Sometimes it's confusing. Yarenia saying your talking is the reason I watch your channel so much helpful information and tips. Thank you, it means a lot. Thank you so much. Hello, Rani. Huh. Thank you. ABC. They're having their uh, ads. Here is Leeds, Taco Bell, uh, Boba Gum. I think I pronounced it correctly. It has some hilarious uh, sounds. Hey, what's up? Raising canes are over there. Hey, Carol Les, and welcome, Connie. Everyone <laughs> filming, everyone uh, just open the camera apps and start filming because this is a place people always want to film and capture these beautiful moments. Yeah, Davy, a lot of tourists. Thanks, uh, Viswantan. Yeah, and uh, it's the busiest time of the year, starting from October until, uh, I would say that until mid-January, it would be busier every day. Every day you will find it more and more busy. And today, I just started my video from Bryant Park and gave you an update about the Winter Village because few important dates you have to remember on October, like October 21st, the Rockefeller Center Ice Skating Ring will be open and October 27, Bryant Park Winter Village and the Ice Skating Ring will be open and it would be the first night. And then on October 28, 
the old man ice skating ring at Central Park, which was basically featured in the movie called Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. So it would be open as well. And on October 31st, we will have the biggest Halloween parade in the world, Village Halloween par Parade. So, so many fun things are waiting for us. The white, hello. Hey, Donna Vincent, good to see you here. Good to see you here. Yari, how are you doing, Donna? Vincent, how are you doing, Vincent? So many music. Sal saying October 9, the Columbus Day Parade. Parade. Oh, yes, it is. And uh, one of the biggest uh, day on October that you had to keep that in mind, like one of the biggest event or a biggest day is October 6th and it's my birthday. So <laughs> you had to keep that in mind as well. Just joking. Hey Christy, hello. Good to see you here, Chris. You can forget who you are, but do not forget October 6th. Some music band. Hey, Elni. Good to see you here. Elni, I'm doing good. How are you doing, Elni? So good to see you. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Davey. Thanks for wishing me in advance, appreciate it. If anyone share the same date, with me, feel free to let me know in the comments. Why this Spider-Man is approaching towards me in a very weird manner? This portion of Times Square is slightly empty. The only thing I can see, Minnie, Mickey and stuff like that. Hey, Anna, Laura. Tony E, it's October 6th. Lori saying October 28th. Awesome, Lori. That's an amazing date. Chris saying 10 6. That's my birthday. Yes. Hey, Pinky Pinky. Uh, Billy C, I just say that if anyone share the same date with me, like same bot date. Nothing too crazy. Hey, Bruce Wilkinson. Good to see you here, Bruce. Hey, Mickey. How Hi, are you? How are you? Were you in the concert? Uh, no, I just randomly walking and oh. making live stream. Yeah. Oh, okay. So happy to see you. How, How are, are you? you? I'm fine. Long I time seen no see. Yeah. Um, oh, I just can't meet anywhere because I had college in the wrong time, so I had to be in the class rather than covering the event. Oh my god! <laughs> I know, right? How's college? So far, doing okay. You finishing? Uh, next year. Oh, one more year. Yeah. Next year is spring, most most probably. 
Oh. Yeah, so almost, almost done. There. Almost oh, there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How is baby? Oh, okay. She's very good. She's very yes. good. Oh. oh. I mean, is your health you good? Yeah. Now I'm you happy. Good? I'm I'm going. How how is your hand by the way? Is it better? See, it's like a little bit off. Ah, uh, yeah. It's happened but it's like a, but it's much better right now. Yes, I can move it, but it's like off. I know, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, it's it's been a while that I haven't met you, but it's so nice I meeting know, you. I know, it's so good to see you. I was so jealous of your video that I seen Elise, uh, Taylor Swift. Uh, she is my favorite. I was so lucky. I got <laughs> I know, to right? last minute I and know. she was sitting behind me. You know, I know how big is the stadium? I know, right? I was like, right oh, before you post the video, she was all over to the news for her reaction, right? And you won the I was there. Perfect she timing. was like behind me. I know, like, perfect crazy. timing. Yeah, You're yeah. lucky always. Uh, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but on most cases. Oh, a lot yeah. of cases. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so many fun things are happening throughout the month. I'm excited. Yeah, oh, yeah. Halloween. Yeah, Halloween parade. Are you gonna yeah. have a costume? Hope, hopefully. <laughs> not in a mood for costume, but hopefully. Really? Why? Huh? You're not in the mood for costume? No, I mean, it seems so baby for me. I mean. Uh, but yeah. maybe I'll try something this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Maybe something interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Always fun. Yeah. So can I show you? Sure. Uh, so this is my friend Mickey. Hi. She has an amazing YouTube channel. And what is YouTube? it? YouTube. <laughs> Sorry. Instagram Facebook. channel. Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> YouTube, everything. Mickey and YC. Just search and you're going to find her amazing you're content. Too sweet. You're too no, sweet. you you're are too so sweet. sweet. Always so nice to me. <laughs> I appreciate that all the time. I appreciate you. Yeah, always. thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good luck with everything. Thank you so much. We'll see you again. Bye bye. So that's my friend Mickey. Let me show you her Instagram because she has Instagram, Facebook, everything. So if you guys know about the film, film star, uh, how and where you can see them, you should follow Mickey, Mickey and YC. Right, this is her channel. You you probably already known her. So this is the channel on um, Instagram. I mean her Instagram account. She do had uh, the same name on TikTok, where she only cover all those celebrities and all those film set. So definitely give her a follow. You're gonna see a lot of new things from New York City, and don't forget. To follow me on my Instagram as well. The NYC Walking Show. Sarbot saying, <laughs> thought I was talking to Mickey Mouse. No, she's one of my good friends. As I say, that I know pretty much most of the biggest uh, content creator right now in New York City. Pretty much all of them I know. And Mickey is one of them. Uh, Bruce thinks if I'm so sorry I didn't get a chance to meet you in person while I was in New York over the past weekend. It's all right, Bruce. I hope you had a fabulous time here in New York City. So I was talking about the Taylor Swift video. Let me show you. She was basically in the concert and uh, Taylor Swift was just behind her. Right here. Look, there she is. You see? She was in the news all over. Taylor Swift. So, yeah. It's a fun. So, she had all types of content like that. All the different uh, film set, film location, celebrities. You, you will get a lot of up-to-date info. Anyway, let's continue our prepaid uh, walk. Christian Hansen, hello. If I miss anyone comment by the time I was chatting with my friend, feel free to let me know in the comments. And I will definitely get back to you. Hey, Furious 77 from Brooklyn. Uh, Cassaba, right now the weather is just Gorgeous, look at it. It's literally 73 degree Fahrenheit. 
Dog G, hello. Juma saying, hey, Safad, happy birthday from advance from Saudi Arabia. Thank you. In advance, happy birthday from Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Well, I think I will walk towards this direction. Okay. Enough Times Square for tonight. Hey, Ernesto, hello. Look at the traffic right here. Yeah, Donna does looks like a summer year. I mean, we are into autumn right now, but it seems like summer doesn't want to go. It just keeps stick with the weather. I might have to walk in the streets. Uh, because the scaffolding blocked the view. Better to walk on the streets and not get blocked by those <laughs> weird scaffolding. And here is Hotel Edison. If anyone's staying here, this is the, oh my gosh. Super noisy, huh? It was the main entrance for Hotel Edison. What's going on? Shut the beep beep. So noisy, my gosh. Hey, Barrymore Theater is here. Hey, Parne, hello. And six, another great Broadway musical right here. Him and M sing Love Your Channel. My brother lives in Upper West Side. Do you do walks up there? Yes, I do. I do had a couple of videos from Upper West Side and I'm planning to do a few more in uh, upcoming days of course upper west side is such a phenomenal place like i like that area a lot of restaurant and stuff like that yeah, upper east side and upper west side two different vibes i love both hey sandra hello this is samuel friedman theater right here so for those who doesn't know uh, in this area, it's called theater districts, and here you will find 41 Broadway theater in this uh, parameter of Times Square, and it's known as a theater districts because of this huge number of Broadway theater. And now you might ask, uh, what consider as a Broadway theater? So, if any theater has more than 500 seats, and that's considered as a Broadway show, but if it doesn't have uh, 500 seats or less than 500 seats that consider off-Broadway show. Does it make sense? Hey, Millicent, hello. Back at 8th Avenue. Seems like quite busy night at 8th Avenue.
I love these vibes, guys. bad I'm doing fine how are you to make my holiday spread even farther I might have to watch uh, the home Alan 2 and other holiday movie a couple of times but now as you know Netflix, Amazon Prime, if you open all those horror movies will be suggested to you because it's time for to get some uh, scary vibes. Hey Sema, hello. Hey DJ, hello, good to see you here. Oh, that's awesome m and I'll definitely trying to check out that area soon. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, Elni saying some Brazilians always recommend this RIU hotel they have uh, Brazilian attendance oh yeah I mean New York City has a large number of Brazilian population uh, and yeah RIU Times Square Hotel right over there it's a pretty good one by the way it's not bad it's a very good one here near Times Square Jamie the Rooster Yep, they have started decorating the house for the fall and fall slash Halloween. Look at this place. Uh, Bruno, after uh, after Halloween, from the November, you will trying to, you will see a lot more uh, Christmas or holiday lights after Halloween. Now, New York is busy for all those fall and Halloween themes. Look at this NYPD horses. Wow, look at that. These horses are amazing. Smith Bar. These horses are so cute. Right here. Yeah, Neha, Neha, there are so many events and so many different types of decorations, holiday windows, um, winter village, uh, then uh, shows of course like Rockets and Radio City Music Hall, uh, special New York City known for its uh, holiday decoration and Rockefeller Center tree lighting ceremony and so on. There are so many things, iconic things you can do in New York City on holiday season. That's why it's considered New York is one of the best place in earth to celebrate a holiday, especially Christmas. There is no place like New York in terms of Christmas or Christmas season. Neighborhood like Diker Heights, oh my gosh, the whole neighborhood lit up their houses. Can you believe it? And they run into all nights lots of thousands of tourists do visit uh, Decker Heights I don't think so anywhere else in the world even anywhere else outside of New York does it like Decker Heights is unbelievable I had few videos from Decker Heights you can watch 
just search Decker Heights and YC Walking Show, you will be amazed with all those amazing Christmas lights. Think about the electric bill, but they doesn't care. So Lucy Spada basically started this tradition in early, uh, I would say that early 1900s. When she moved to that neighborhood, there was literally no Christmas light, no Christmas vibes. But she started to decor her house. And right after that, everyone else also decorating their house. So nothing like New York. Hey, Sonia, hello. Nothing like New York City pizza. <laughs> oh wow, what is it? A cube? Seems like ad for Microsoft. You see, it's kind of new to me. Or maybe I never pay, pay attention there. Hey, Rogues and Rovells, welcome. Seems like Samsung taking over all those giant billboards to advertise their product. Alan, hello. 42nd Street. This is a place if you like to see taxis. This is where you should come. Look at all these taxis here. <laughs> oh my God. Taxi, taxi, taxi. Iconic New York City yellow cab. Now you see the difference. Most of the yellow cabs are now RAV4, Toyota Sienna, or Camry, like new Camry, but mostly RAV4. So all those expensive cars are here. These are some wheelchair accessible car. All these wheelchair accessible. So New York City really taking care of all those people who need some special attention. And I'm just outside of the Port Authority bus terminal. And that's why this taxi driver are waiting in line. Hopefully they will get some passengers. Hey, Florencia, hello. And here is the New York Times headquarter right here, this building on 8th Avenue and West 41st Street. This is a brand new Sienna. They lift it up and made into a wheelchair accessible. Yeah, Gary, indeed, New York is a taxi center. And, of course, bike-friendly. Hey, Daniel from Canada. Else Place, how are you doing, Else Place? I was in Times Square, DJ. Now I'm heading towards south via 8th Avenue. Another entrance for Port Authority. Oh, awesome look. So, I got to, yeah. Look at it. Is it NYPD car? Oh yes, the new look of NYPD. Oh no, 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 my bad, my bad. It's Port Authority Police. These are not NYPD, these are Port Authority uh, Police. But some new police car had green markers, like looks pretty different and similar to Port Authority Police.
good time that spoiled authority police. Jollibee. Jollibee has a store in Times Square. Jollibee is very popular, especially it's very well renowned among the Filipino. There are so many fast food brands, like <laughs> you can just spend your entire life eating outside, trying different <laughs> places. You do not have to cook, and that's what happened to most of the New Yorkers who are, who are busy with their work, then had any time to cook. They just keep eating outside because so many places to eat and try. A hey, Susan Wilson. Uh, DJ Jolly Bee is not bad. I tried. It's okay. Jackie Freeman. I haven't had any plan yet. What I'm gonna do for my birthday? Probably, I don't know. I had some plan with my friends, but I will try to do a video. I did last year. It was so nice celebrating my birthday with all of those viewers from across the globe. So. I might try to do something similar this year. Let's see. Yeah, Donna. Some people are following it. Like New York City now require all those business owners to have a uh, trust bean with lead. And business places like McDonald's and others, they start to follow it. And some of them are not following, so it's depend. Rogue Zendro Bell saying, when is your birthday? October 6th. In two days, Rogue Zendro Bells. October 6th. Oh my God, honking like a crazy. Uh, Arshan sounds saying, hi, Sifat, send you a message. Did you get it? Where did you send the message? Uh, on my Instagram, email, Facebook? I'm a bit behind of replaying some of the message on my Facebook and Instagram and email because a lot of emails and message to replay. So it might take some time, but I will definitely get back to you. Roxanne Robel seeing her in November 7th. Awesome. That's really cool. Oh, awesome. Else, please. Hey, Cody. Hello. Uh, Danielle saying. Bad day is tomorrow. Oh, awesome. Daniel's bad day is tomorrow. Awesome. In advance, happy bad day to you. Many, many happy returns of the day. God bless you. Hey, Brian. Hello. Uh, Krista amazing. Oh, wow. My bad day is Friday too. Happy bad day. Awesome, Krista. That's, that was, uh, I, I was asking people that if anyone sharing the same did with me. I'm glad I found one. Happy bad day, Krista. <laughs> I, I knew it, Dad. There will be at least <laughs> several people in the chat who will share the same date as me. Thanks, Mira. Well, where we are, if you just join. Then I am on 8th Avenue and West 36th Street heading south, means down. Down where? I don't know. <laughs> it's just a random stroll. Double tree by Hilton. Misbehaving, thank you. Right there. Madison Square Garden. Uh, Dina 
Elmer saying, my brother's birthday is October 6th. Happy early birthday, Sefa. Thank you. Another person I found here. So two person, Christy, Krista, me, and Dina's brother. Good to know it. Kuna Kuna Singh uh, visited New York City last uh, week. Awesome. I guess there are so many people who will now keep eyes on my video because maybe they recently visit New York City. Now they are start to miss New York City. Believe it or not, once you visit New York City, you will start to miss New York City even more. You want to be come back here. That's what happened every time, every time. Hey, Christine R, hello. Austin sounds saying, my sister is October 6th, a Libra too. I'm December 4th. Awesome, Austin sound. That's great. Three more people, I mean, three people total. Good. Back the fuck up. This is a EV by Kia. I forget the model, but I know that this is an EV. Kia EV, it looks nice. Traveling D, good to see you here. And the iconic New Yorker Hotel. What a gorgeous view of Madison Square Garden. Hey, welcome Christian. Thanks, Melanda. This hotel is way too secure. There is two guards standing right near the uh, elevator. You have to show your uh, key card in order to get to the elevator. But most of the hotel, you do not need that. Once you check in, you are free to go wherever you want to go. And anyone can get inside and out of hotel, but not here. After you checking, you had to show your key card to the guard every time. You will try to get in inside of any elevator, and no visitors are allowed unless you are present. <laughs> it's pretty strict. Like I remember, I want to meet one of my friend, uh, and uh, he was basically staying in this hotel, and I tried to. Uh, just press the button of the, of the elevator and go to go to his room oh my gosh look at it <laughs> it's crazy holy cow what a honk so yeah I was just trying to get to the elevator but the guard stopped me that where are you going sir where is your keys uh, i say what because that was my first interaction and first time stopped by any guard in order to use the elevator <laughs> inside any new york city hotel and i said what are you saying why i need to show the key card they're saying it's our policy and then i called my friend he came down and then <laughs> they allow me. That was a crazy hunk. They interrupt my uh, story. Very weird. Come on, dude. Why you need to honk like that? I was telling a fun story uh, via 34th Street, 2nd Avenue, selective bus. You know what? Let's do a bus ride. I don't know where this bus will be go, but I'm paying here and get to the bus. Okay, I paid. I'll go at the very end so no one, got, no, one, no one gets bothered. So this is how a bus look like. I don't know where am I going. I just randomly board in and maybe get out somewhere. And this is the next stop, West 34 and 7th Avenue. This is basically a cross town bus. 
it's a cross town bus a big on empty and they had right now omni weather tap and go i think this side better you can see outside what's happening Shelly Scarpio. Hello, Angela. Isn't it interesting, right, guys? Yeah, all those MTA bus are nice. And it's pretty much empty. <laughs> this is a good thing. Next stop, West 34 and 7th Avenue. Uh... Latonia Jackson said, what if you don't pay and just walk on the bus? Nothing will happen. <laughs> but there are so many people are doing it, to be honest. So many uh, people are not even paying the subway fare. It's quite normal. MTL loses millions of dollars each year. And uh, you had to touch this yellow handle right here. When it would be green light, you will touch it and the door will open. And let's say you want to get out at West 34 and Broadway, you had to press that button right here or pull this yellow card so there will be a stop request and this is how you can get out. Otherwise, if there is no stop request, the bus may be not stopped. So there is a button or this yellow card. No, Astor Lee, there is no inspection that whether you pay or not. There is no inspection like that. You can charge your phone as well. Look, there is a USB plug right here. Uh, you can connect and charge your phone or whatever you need to charge right here. A lot of facilities you will get inside. but the seats are not comfortable. It's all plastic. So Christine R, the MTA fare for bus and subway, $2.90, $2.90. I will get out at Fifth Avenue and 34th Street. It used to be $2.75, but now it's $2.00. 90 cents. Next stop, West 34th Street and Broadway. Transfers available to the B, D, F, M, N, Q, R, W trains, NJ Pass. $2.99, $2.99. Not $99, $90. $2.90. $2.90. I don't know what's happened. I had some sort of internet connection issue. It was crazy. I think you missed the part. Uh, I met uh, two of my viewers, Andrew and Noah. I was get out at the stop Broadway and 34th Street and they were literally waiting outside, Andrew and Noah. But we are stupid. YouTube just uh, had some sort of issue with connection and ha huh, I don't think so I filmed them such a weird problem this is a life of a live streamer connection we had to depend or rely on connectivity anyway I hope we will bump each other Andrew and Noah there was some connection issue that's why I didn't capture that moment, but thank you, Andrew and Noah. Thanks for stopping and uh, saying hi. Thank you, Andrew and Noah. We'll definitely 
bump each other again. Look at it. This is Empire State Building Observatory. I think no more buffering right now. Yeah, I don't know when what went wrong. It's happened. It's happened sometimes. What's happening here? Oh, well. These people are getting ready for the Empire State Building Marathon. Like, run our check-in. So they will basically climb up all the stairs of Empire State Building. How fun it is, like, these are the runners. They will basically uh, run on the stairs. Whoever can first get to the top by running at the stairs of Empire State Building. This event is pretty fun. All these runners basically run through the stairs of Empire State Building. And whoever get to the top first, who will be the winner? This run for the charity. All these people are running for the charity. I forget about this particular event, but I'm glad I caught it. Like if you wonder what's happening here, what's going on. These are the runners who will basically uh, climb up all those stairs and whoever get to the top first, the winner. <laughs> No, Christine, our elevator does not count. <laughs> elevator does not count at all. Yeah, running to the top. All these people are going to run through the stairs of Empire State Building <laughs> for the charity. Yeah, it's fun. Good luck to all those people. They had a huge energy and stamina. Let me see how many stairs are on Empire State Building. Uh, how many stairs at ESB? So, total 1,576 stairs. Oh my God, these people had to climb up this many stairs. Look at it. According to the Google, a little over a thousand feet. 1,576 stairs. Can you believe it? If they give me time, I can do it because each day I do pretty much 15 uh, to 20,000 steps. So I can do it also, but I need some time. <laughs> A little over an hour, I guess. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, good times they are trained for this like I believe all those runners they did warm up they are definitely did practice and I think they they regular basis do exercise they do cardio so I think they're gonna be fine I don't think so anyone here participating are doing yeah, it for the amazing. first time I don't think so I'm pretty sure they are well trained and they definitely did some warm up. But they do a lot of <laughs> Alan O'Neill saying, I wonder how long does the slowest runner will take? That's a very good question. I mean, I don't know, you can just search on Google. Maybe find some info and let me know. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, awesome, Sandy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Many, many happy returns of the day. Stay safe, stay happy. Hey, Angela. A gift shops are here. Wow, what's happening here? Bravo Pizza set up a tent. Oh, okay. It's Sabbath, I guess. Uh, it's some sort of uh, uh, Jewish holiday fest. They start selling this scarf right here. Hey, Jose, hello. Hey, Joey, hello. These are the most common scarf you will find here in the city. The most common one. Well, I think the bus ride was fun, yep. but the stupid internet just ruined the fun. <laughs> yeah, Nadji Nancy, you get it. Langham, Fifth Avenue. Oh, look at these poodles. Uh, I'm not using GoPro. I'm using iPhone 13 Pro for my live stream. If you need some information about what gadget I'm using or what phone I'm using or what equipments I'm using, it's all linked on my video description box. Wow, they had some good postcard. Uh, this postcard reminds me that all of my premium members patreon and youtube members i did send your postcard so you will receive it soon i already sent all the postcards on your address so kindly let me know once you get it hey narciso hello Yeah, this building is very pretty. Uh, it took several years to renovate this particular uh, facade. A 
It's gorgeous. Right now it is 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty much uh, 8 or 3 p.m. New York time. Well, let's cross it. But I'm saying the first 15 minutes. Wow. Honking, honking, honking. Uh, these are some uh, express bus between uh, Brooklyn and Manhattan. Some express bus. These bus are more comfortable than the bus ride we had. It also cost more. Yeah, very busy path. Hey, Janice. Hello. And this is Staten Island Manhattan Express bus. All the express bus costs, I think, seven dollar. Lots of express bus. A lot of them, actually. Hello. Hello. Two lion protecting a uh, public library. Patience and fortitude. Two lion outside of uh, the New York Public Library. Fortitude and patience right here. What's wrong with this dude? Why is getting mad? A fly girl, welcome. Barbara, hello Barbara. Let's take a stroll on Fifth Avenue, heading towards North. Hey, Joel, hello. Hello, Carol Hall. Good to see you here, Carol Hall. And right now I'm here at West 42nd and Fifth. Hello, Devo. Hot sink, welcome.
Mary, good to see you here. Mary, Mary Leon. Big sale, a dollar for this photo. Hey, Macon, good to see you here, Macon. Most of his uh, photos are sold out. Dollar is a good deal. Forgive yourself and never give up. That's pretty nice. I must cross the street. I had 10 seconds because I don't want to walk under this scaffolding. For sure, I'm crossing it. Still got three seconds. Hey, Victor, hello. Hey Gino, how are you doing? Benjamin, welcome. New iPhone 15 Pro. It's very tempting when I look at those new iPhone on the ads or even inside Apple Store. It's too hard to control your emotion. Like once you start using iPhone, every year they had a new phone and iPhone users got very tempting, including myself. My hands are scratching to get a new iPhone, but I'm just convince myself that I'm not gonna do it <laughs> I'll try my best to convince myself to motivate myself not getting a new iPhone but my hands are scratching to get a new phone hey Angela R hello a pad overheating issue I think iPhone will find a resolve I mean they will easily resolve the issue I think in couple of weeks they will have a new software update things gonna be uh, fine overheating is not an issue it does happen in uh, other phones but you know sometimes it can be a marketing policy by other competitor to find someone else uh, issue and make it a big deal but you must agree that iPhone 15 Zoom, especially iPhone 15 Pro Max, the Zoom is amazing. So clear, much better. Hey, Georgia, hello. Another thing, 
which is very well thinking by Apple to finance. Like, if you apply for an Apple card, they will instantly approve you. Like, I'm talking about here, the situation here in America. Like, if, we, if you apply for an Apple card, you will get instantly approved. So, you can buy a phone, you can finance it, and each month you can just pay a small amount of money. So, this is a very well thing. Now, they can do business with selling iPhone and also selling their credit card and get a lot of interest. I know even though Mando there's not a huge difference but as I say it's very tempting and it's become a habit all those iPhone user whenever new product come out we want to have it it just just like a toy kids are always want a new toy doesn't matter if they had the similar toy they want to get the new one so it's same the same feelings <laughs> like very tempting people had have it with new car like each year they want to get a new car so it's depend on everyone choice how you think and how you feel but yeah Adrian iPhones are very ad addictive hey Serena hello Angela R, good to see you here. Angela R, how are you doing? The satisfaction you will have when you unboxing the new phone, it doesn't have to be iPhone. Whenever you unbox something brand new, it's a different types of satisfaction. <laughs> it's so fun. But also, that fun will cost you a lot of money. You have to take that into your consideration. Hey, Carol, hello. Hey, Mingo from Florida. I had one more YouTube channel called Sifat Straw. I just recently opened that YouTube channel, but in the future I will have some content on that channel as well. Uh, some interesting food related content or something extra, some behind the scene footage that I will not publish here. I will have that on my second channel, Sifat Straw. You can take a follow. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, Rachel J, hello. <laughs> I had to cross the street. Wow, it's very progressive. The Sex Fifth Avenue decoration? Holy cow! Everything went so fast. Look, it seems pretty different this year. I don't know what sex are planning. See, this year decoration seems a little bit different than previous years. I feel like this year the castle gonna be missed as well. There will be no castle, that's what I feel like. But still too early to predict, but 
Who knows? This circle doesn't feel like they're gonna have a castle. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's massive. It's one of the best uh, holiday light show. But I hope they will not disappoint us like last year. This year, it seems something new, but not sure. Look at it. Huh, I don't know. What they gonna have this year? Oh, sorry, my bad. Hey, Darfar. That, that are very great questions. But first of all, Thanks for becoming a Patreon, Darfur. I remember the name. And now I will answer your questions that why people had green on their name because they are joined as a member. If you go to my YouTube homepage, there is an option called join near the subscribe button. It's basically a membership, monthly membership. There are several options. You can choose to support monthly and if you sign up or if you join as a YouTube member, your name will be green. All those members, their names are green because they are joined to the channel. There are several uh, different types of membership. There is one specific membership. It's called premium membership. It's also available on my Patreon and YouTube as well. So what's the benefit of a premium member? You will receive a postcard from me. No matter where I am, I will send you a postcard every month. Only available to my Patreon members, which is, I guess, $20 a month. So if you sign up as a premium member, $20 a month, you will get a postcard. And I'm really happy and I appreciate all those premium members for all the love and support. The postcard is just an appreciation from me. Davy said, how did they hang that circle? <laughs> it's pretty interesting way, like lots of uh, brainstorm, lots of construction, lots of uh, thinking related to this. They are slowly construct that circle over here. And here, This is uh, the Rockefeller Center ice skating ring, which I said it's gonna be open on October 21st. The first ice skating ring in the city will be open on October 1st. See the construction process? This is the same crane they used for the tree. The same exact crane right here. So if you watch my Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, they use the same types of crane, perhaps the same one, I guess. To install the tree right here, this, this Karen was used. And they are now using it to build the ice skating ring here. It's gonna be open on October 1st. I mean, October 21st. What's wrong with me? Another update. So, starting from today, you will get so many updates about New York City and how New York City is getting prepared for the holiday season. Like the behind the scene footage of New York City, how they are getting ready. That's an at last look, NYC. It's an at last right here. Altos, I think. This is how it's pronounced. At last, I was correct. There was one more right outside of the St. Patrick Cathedral.
Elni, your handwriting is also very good. Actually, way better than mine. Yes, correct. Look, you got it. And look at this tree. All those leaves are pretty much gone. Still had some fall foliage and the beautiful St. Patrick Cathedral. Yes, yeah, Serena, construction is a very profitable business here in New York City. Like never ending construction, never ending construction. <laughs> Married, I hope I will do it. I'm always scared to do a skating. Donna Vincent saying, every time I see this area, I think of the movie Home Alone 2, lost in New York City, when his mother finds him near the tree. Oh yeah, that's a very iconic scene. That's why basically, New York City, I mean because of all those Hallmark movies where New York City was featured, I think that's give New York City a very positive vibes. Here is that last right here, another one, but it's pretty cool if you can take a photo from the behind, it will match. Hey Georgia boy, hello. Look, you can be creative and can go back and forth until you get the perfect view. I think this is it. I think I have to go a little bit left. Oh, here we go. Hello, Lyric. Look at it. Ta-da! Hey, Milisha. Welcome, Milisha. How are you? And the interesting Lego store right here. One of the biggest Lego store. This is also made with Legos. They had a huge taxi. Oh God, look at the pose. <laughs> I love it. I love the pose. This is Rockefeller Center. Inside this Lego store, that huge Lego taxi is my favorite. Let me show you. This realistic taxi inside the Lego store is one of the coolest thing. You can basically hop inside and take photos with this taxi. One of the best. And uh, this is one of the largest Victoria's Secret here in New York City, this one largest Victoria's Secret. Cartier Mansion. Wow, look how big that church is. Look how far back it looks. Yeah. 
these trees will not looking this empty anymore. It's gonna be overly crowded. No, Isa, this is Cartier Mansion. Right here. This is Cartier Mansion, New York City. It's not an embassy. And here is Versace. <laughs> Look at this cute. Is it Richie Rich? And on the left, this is the Nike store right here at the corner of West 52nd and 5th Avenue. The Nike store. I think someone asked me. But apart from all those fancy vibes, this is the real New York. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> only in new york this is what new york need to do more improvements in terms of garbage management even though these piles of garbage looks pretty organized but <laughs> you cannot escape that that's a real new york old body to park avenue Recycling garbage are collected separately than all those um, uh, kitchen or other garbages. Nice bell. Wow. This is St. Thomas Church and we got some bell. Perfect timing all the time. Thanks, Marfinski. Thanks for stopping. I appreciate that. Microsoft. Hey, Ellison Wonderland. Good to see you here, Rick. The University Club. Look at the interior. Amazing place.
cute pumpkin. It's real, it's not fake. A real pumpkin. This is the 5th Avenue Prosperity and Charge. I don't know, why is that piano man? Maybe somewhere else? Hey, Kane Alexander. Welcome. Good to see you here, Kane Alexander. Jenny, is there usually... Not usually, I would say. Sometimes, once in a while, street performer with a piano uh, playing. That's it. i seen him twice. Once in the 5th Avenue, again on 6th Avenue, I guess, if I remember correctly. And now for a while I haven't seen it. Hey, Margarita. Hello, Margarita. Yeah, I had to manage it, but I had enough time during the day. Louis Vuitton. Some people believe that Louis Vuitton is one of the most overrated brand. I don't know. Maybe they doesn't like all those branding. Like everywhere, LV, LV, LV. So most of the people doesn't like it. Like I did see in some of the interview where people say and mention that they think that Louis Vuitton is one of the most overrated brand. I don't know, what do you think about it, guys? Are you guys agree with it? Uh, you had different opinion. Yeah, Mary, um, like around like eight, most of the business place uh, do close around like eight. So that's why streets are a bit empty right now. Yeah, this is Tiffany and Company right here. Krista agree, yeah, it's very expensive. But hey, you can get a copy in the streets of New York City. Anything is possible here in New York City. You do not have to buy a real one. You can just get a first-hand copy here easily. I don't think so it will make a huge difference. Nobody gonna know. <laughs> LOL.
there is no uh, Walmart inside New York City. But we do had Costco. Because Walmart will kill all those small businesses. But I believe that fashion shouldn't be rely on, on those fancy brand. Unfortunately, this is the reality. The more luxury brand you will use, the more stylish or fashion conscious you will be. But I don't think so. There I don't I don't like this. I mean your fashion it all depends on how you present yourself. It shouldn't happen to all those luxury stuff. Isa, there are so many small groceries, delis, and also Trader Joe's, Whole Food, and small owned grocery stores. We do not need Walmart. Uh, there is Costco. Outside of New York City parameter, we do had Walmart. But prices are pretty much the same, more or less. People doesn't care because a lot of groceries you can basically uh, browse around. There are Target. Yeah, exactly. Oh, another pair of NYPD horses right over there. Hey, Kapla. Hello, hello, Adai. Another pair of NYPD horse. These horses are very cute. Wow. Look at it. All those horse has a badge number. Just as NYPD officers, these are also police. These are also police officers. They are working for NYPD and they have their own badge number. But mostly these are some wild horse or wild animal. NYPD just uh, trying to train them and... Oh wow, this is the car, NYPD car I was mentioned, the new car with green stripe. <laughs> Sharena saying, get out of the way. I am. But they're not gonna harm you. They are very well trained horse. Central Park at night become the Red Park. Ooh, it looks a bit weird. Someone saying, take it one step at a time. Perfect, I love it. Oh, there are some people sitting over there. <laughs> what is this noise? Did you guys hear any laugh? From where is this laugh coming from? Weird. Seems like it's a spooky season. Hmm. Hey, Parveen, how are you doing? Anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for joining uh, tonight's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Get to know some place, some updates from New York. New York City, perhaps. I hope to see you all tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay positive.